Hey, Pastor Mark here. Hope you're doing well. Do you ever feel like time is against you? Have you ever been late to something? Have you ever just wished that there were 25 hours in the day or just another day in the week? There's a lot of people who feel like time's against them. I know as a parent, sometimes I'm watching my boys grow up right in front of me and I'm just thinking, man, where is time gone? I was talking with my wife recently about about the fact that we're we're coming up on our seventh wedding anniversary. And like, holy cow, where did time go? It's crazy how fast time flies. And a lot of times people think that time is against them and time is working against them and time only makes you older and only takes away. But I, I really think as I've been studying the Bible and as I've been studying a couple characters specifically, that time is actually not something that's against us, but instead time is our friend. Time... Time, you've all heard the old cliche that time heals all wounds, and that's true to some degree because time puts space and separation between something that has caused us hurt or pain or frustration and has has allowed us now to become healthier. We've allowed uh, ourselves to gain some clarity, and when we're we're clear and we're thinking with a clear mind and not clouded with all of our emotions, then all of a sudden we're able to make healthy decisions. And people who lack clarity really have no business making significant decisions. And time is the thing, is the tool that's going to help that. In the book of Psalms, chapter 31, in the first part of verse 15, it says, My time, my times are in your hands, God. My times are in your hands. Sometimes when we feel like time is just running out and time is just anywhere but on our side, one of the things we need to realize is that time is something that God will use for our benefit and for his glory. Check it out. In the Bible, there's a guy named Moses. Uh, Moses is a guy who kind of had to start over and reinvent himself. You know, he grew up in, in the palace in Pharaoh's, in Pharaoh's castle or, or pyramid, whatever it was that had in Egypt. But then he realized that even though, hey, I look, I walk like an Egyptian and I talk like an Egyptian, I'm not an Egyptian. And so after literally killing an Egyptian, he hits the road. And he spends 40 years in the desert before, before he gets round two back in Egypt. God used those 40 years to mold and to shape Moses into the man that that God needed him to be to accomplish the purpose that he had created Moses for. King David's pretty similar guy. You see, King David, when he had been anointed to be the next king of Israel, he actually moved into the palace with King Saul at the time, and he began to serve King Saul. But then King Saul kind of went all haywire and kicked David out. And we, we, we don't know the exact number, but it was somewhere between 8 and 12 years before David ever came back to the palace in Israel to, to take his place as the king of Israel. But it was those 8 to 12 years that God grew David. And God gave David perspective. And God enabled David to see things clearly. Sometimes we think time's against us when the reality is that when our time is in God's hands... And when we submit ourselves to him, our marriages, our parenting, our jobs, our relationships, everything that makes us us, when we submit those things to God, he will use time as our friend to mold us and to shape us and to use us for his purpose and for his glory. You know that the crazy thing about time is that time enables you to hear things later on that you weren't able to hear before. Time enables you to hear from people later on that you weren't able to hear before because putting some space between you and something that has happened has allowed God to bring clarity and healthiness into your life. He's allowed healing to take place and he's given you perspective that you desperately need. I hope that this gives some perspective on on how in the time that you have and and even though it does seem like time flashes by before our eyes, the reality is, is that God, when our time is truly in God's hands and when we believe that and we trust him with it, God will use our time, the time that we perceive to be ours, to work the good that he's always intended for us in our kids' lives, in our marriages, and in everything that we endeavor to do. I hope you have a great week, and I hope that as time passes before we meet again, God will stretch you and use you and continue to mold you. Until next time.